the reason of existence it goes beyond value creation uh, for the shareholder the critical question remains is the value being created at the expense of the society at large uh, a new era of corporate reporting has begun, uh, that is sustainability reporting. Uh, the transition phase is sustainability reporting and the ultimate objective is integrated reporting. Uh, we'll be touching very briefly about sustainability, about the concept of sustainability today. Until few years ago, this was a foreign name in our society. We had heard about global warming, CO2 emissions, climate change etc etc but never really thought that it was related to us we always considered it to be a problem of developed nations due to their own misdeeds but then the things started changing our lives in 2001, Gujarat earthquake. These are some of the major calamities which took place during the last decade. That toll was 20,000 plus. Then in 2002, resident floods came. In 2003, Iran earthquake struck. The death toll was 43,000 plus. Uh, the European heat wave also hit the same year. In 2004, the worst ever South Asian tsunami hitting the uh, the South Asia, the death toll was 277,000 plus people. It was the worst tsunami since 1556. In 2005, Kashmir earthquake hit Pakistan and adjacent countries. The death toll was 79,000 plus people. Hurricane Katrina and Mumbai floods were the happenings of the same year. In 2006, Java earthquake hitting the death toll 5,700 people. In 2007, the global economic meltdown hitting the whole world affecting billions of people around the globe. In 2008, Sichuan earthquake, death toll 90,000 plus people. Cyclone Nargis in Myanmar hitting in the same year, the death toll was 140,000 people. In 2010, Pakistan floods came. The number of affectees were 20 million people. In the same year, Haiti earthquake striking and the death toll was 300,000 people. In 2011, Japan earthquake, death toll 18,000. The Pakistan floods, the Tur Turkey earthquake. And in 2011 and 12, we are going to see a new phenomenon, and that is Occupy Wall Street. Now, what is going on? As we can see, the world is jittering. The jitters are not only affecting the earth but it's affecting its inhabitants hundreds of thousands of people are being killed every year and millions being affected the fingers being pointed to create this havoc on planet earth is at the corporate sector which is alleged to be the source of the problem the corporate sector in its race for winning high returns for shareholders knocked down the other two runners that is the people and the planet by unfair play now of course there is no race if there are no runners. If there are no people and planet, there is going to be no business on the planet. So the question is how to run a race where no runner threatens the survival of the other runners in its desire to win the race. This is a difficult scenario. I'll explain this issue in accounting terms. Since the industrial revolution, we have achieved extraordinary prosperity. Many people live longer, have access to universal education, better health care, and the promise of pensions. However, on the debit side, we have increased our consumption of the Earth's finite natural resources to such an extent that our collective demand now exceeds the planet's capacity to renew itself by some 25% annually. Now, the deficit is 25% annually. It's accumulating every year. In other words, we are consuming the Earth's capital. Now, please note that. We are consuming the Earth's capital as if it were 
lower our income. And confusing capital for income is simply not sustainable in the long run. There are many things that we take for granted which underpin human existence and life on the planet, and yet we degrade it and deplete it at an unsustainable rate. Many natural resources are actually under threat. Some of them are more visible than others, but all of them constitute risks to businesses that have supply chains. Maybe the most obvious one is oil. It's estimated we've got about 40 years of oil left, lead, tin, copper, a matter of a few decades before we exhaust the world supply of those. All of those things have a significant impact on businesses and businesses going to have to respond in all sorts of different ways. Also, every activity of an organization has an impact on its employees, society, suppliers, customers and other stakeholders. Sustainability is the concept of balancing economic performance with social and environmental performance. It relates something to moving from single fin financial bottom line to the triple bottom line of people, planet and profit. The clock is ticking. We've got five, maybe ten years to make the fundamental decisions that will change that. Now I'll share a couple of videos with you which will further explain the issue. Can you have them? Once upon a time, there was a king in his castle. He lived in a beautiful world with high mountains, great seas, and marvelous animals. He thought he was a good king, but didn't really care about his kingdom. He just wanted to be rich and lead a wealthy lifestyle. To make the things he wanted, he built great factories. And to travel faster, he built roads, railways, and airports. This needed a lot of energy, so the king drilled deeper and deeper for oil, and built more and bigger power stations. He thought that things had never been better. But gradually, his kingdom began to suffer. Large forests were found, huge areas became like deserts, and even